Hello and welcome to Attacking Third. I'm your host, Lisa Roman, and I am pleased and just so blessed to be joined today by the Switzerland International and forward for PSG, French Women's League champion for the first time in PSG history, Ramona Bachman. Ramona, hi, welcome. Hi, welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, it is so good to see you and so good to have you here. Congratulations on the achievement and winning with PSG. I mean, what a huge accomplishment for the first time in PSG history and for you to be part of it. How was your summer? Was it full of celebrations? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, first time in history winning, um, very special feeling, obviously. Um, so yeah, my, my summer was great. Obviously, we celebrated after the win, but then it was quite relaxed because uh, it was a long season. And um, I prefer to have it a bit calm because we were like traveling a lot with the team during the year. Um, so yeah, it was great. So the rest of your summer after after the celebrations had quieted down, um, there was a lot of soccer on. I mean, we had the Euros, we had Copa America, we had the Olympics. Did you watch any of that or is your relaxation away from the from football? No, definitely, definitely followed everything. Um, yeah, I mean, if football is on TV, I have to follow it. That's for sure. Uh, but still, like I had to I had to be able to um, like relax a little bit, too, but uh, I made some compromises, so obviously watched all the Swiss games and um, all the games where my friends were playing um, and some of the games I missed. But I, I mean, I had to enjoy the, the, the vacation, too. And like if I'm at the beach, I want to be at the beach, too. So. Yeah. Oh, Ramona, I understand. I went to the <laughs> beach as well this summer. I would wake up early. I'm on the East Coast in the United States and I'd watch the games early in the morning, cover them for attacking third, and then I'd hit the beach. It's all about the balance, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> Need to find the balance. The right balance is the key. <laughs> you really do. And now before you know it, the celebrations have to come to a little bit of a close as for PSG and you, you're in preseason and you're already training again. I mean, how quick is that turnaround? And and now training back in preseason, I mean, what's going through your head and, and through the team's head coming off of such a huge season where you win, you win it all. Um, how did your, your preseason, how does it look differently? How are your goals changed after you've achieved what PSG has achieved last year? Yeah, I think to be honest, I don't think our our goals have changed at all. Um, what has changed though is um, a lot of players have left. We've got a lot of new players. We have uh, some new coaches uh, in the in the staff. Um, so there has been some changes, but this definitely doesn't change our ambitions and our goals for the for the season. I mean, we all know winning for the first time is very special. And obviously, this is what we want to achieve again. We want to win trophies, probably even more than just one. But we also know we need to be realistic. After winning, you're always the one that's going to be chased from everyone. And it's always difficult if you win to then try to win it again. As I said, everyone wants to beat you. And um, that's going to be a big challenge for us this year. You definitely have a big target on your back. You're right. Everyone's coming after you and coming after PSG. But personally, for you, as you approach this preseason and, and your long, hard trainings day in and day out, what personal goals have you set for yourself for this season? Well, for me personally, I had a I had a tough start last year, but that's always normal when you are in a new team. Then I had a, a small injury where uh, I was out of the team for about three weeks. Um, nothing big, but still, it it always um, yeah stops you from training, stops you from being around the team, and takes you out of the of the rhythm a little bit. Um, so for me, it's really important to get through this preseason basically injury free. Um, and then yes, full focus on the on all the games. We're gonna have more games than last year because obviously last year there's uh, there's been uh, COVID and some competitions have been cancelled. Like the French Cup has, we haven't played the French Cup last season. So there's gonna be a lot of games. So I want to focus definitely on my health, on uh, training, right? And obviously I want to play a lot of games. Uh, I want to be involved, and I want to. Yeah, trying to to help the team with my abilities and um, yeah, hopefully score some goals. And I've started quite well with with uh, with with a goal 
uh, a few days ago when we played Lyon. I mean, the result wasn't the best. Uh, our our games we have played now in preseason haven't been the best if you look at the results. But I feel like that's maybe also if you see, if you look at all the changes we've had in the team, that is not very surprising. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, constant turnover and, and now getting back at it. And before we started recording, you were you were tired from training. So you're working hard and, and you're getting out there. And preseason <laughs> continues uh, for your team, traveling to Louisville, Kentucky for the Women's Cup alongside Bayern Munich and the Chicago Red Stars and Racing Louisville, both teams in the NWSL. And this tournament is in your preseason while you're still preparing for your season. So what can you get out of a tournament like the women's cup where you are traveling, which traveling takes a lot out of a team and, and traveling all the way to the United States. So what can you get out of the women's cup? Yeah, it does take a lot out of you, but then also we are professionals and we know that we're going to travel. So it's all about getting prepared for it. Like prepare yourself mentally that you're going to travel. You're probably going to feel tired. Um, and that's normal, but then also it's it's still preseason. I mean, I guess if that would be a game that would really count, then we would obviously prepare ourselves a little bit different, probably fly over um, a few days earlier, <laughs> but that's just how it is. And I think we all know that it's going to be like that. We all have to prepare and then we're going to have um, two really tough games over there, but that's going to be good. It's going to be a good test for us and um, obviously trying to get a, a good result with us. So Ramona, you're not leaving too early. So your little dog, Louie, he won't be left alone for too long. I mean, he will be left alone, but I have someone who's looking after him. So um, I know he's in good hands. <laughs> Always have to check in on the dogs. I mean, I, I love dogs too. So I get that. Maybe, maybe Louie will make a cameo in this interview. How fun would that be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's outside right now. Well, chewing on his uh, bone. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So the competition in the women's cup, like you mentioned two games and potentially uh, to play against NWSL squads in Chicago red stars or racing Louisville. Um, when you look at the NWSL, cause I, I cover the NWSL for CBS sports and on attacking third, when you as a, a player for PSG look at a league, like the NWSL, how do you expect the competition to be? Um, I see the league as one of the toughest if you definitely if you athletic wise um, it's a like all the teams are very athletic basically the the US league is uh, really athletic um, all the teams look really fit it's always tough to play uh, I mean I've had my experiences I've played in in the US league and I've played obviously international games against the USA they're always really really tough games you need to be focused um, and yeah, it's it's uh, a lot about fitness. And I think that's what we're lacking at the moment, which is normal during preseason. But that's going to be a, a point where we like going to focus on, yeah, try to keep up because obviously they're all in in, uh, in the season right now. Yeah, they are fresh in their season. And for you and, and for PSG, you have the potential to play against Racing Louisville and Nadia Nadim, who yes. played with PSG. She was with you on the winning team last season. So what happens if you play against Nadia? Are you going to smack talk her on the field, give her, give her an elbow? What's going to happen there? <laughs> at least, at least two nutmegs from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've been joking about it that uh, we obviously look forward uh, to see each other. Like uh, Nadia is a really good friend to me. Um, we really enjoyed playing together. And um, I mean, that would be fun. I think it would all also be fun for her to, to play against her old team her old teammates. Um, so that will be special. So hopefully that will happen. Will she expect the nutmegs from you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> well, well, now she knows uh, if she doesn't keep your legs closed, Nadia. Keep watch your out. legs closed, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, how fun for her again to, to play against all her teammates. And, and like you mentioned, lots of ins and outs of teammates coming and going. But um, looking past the Women's Cup and in preparation for the season, it's, it's a long season ahead of you and, and a, lo a lot to come 
ahead of this year. Um, so besides just winning and, and scoring lots of goals, when you do score those goals, do you have your celebration picked out? Um, well, I mean, it's always special to score a goal, but for me, it's always important to celebrate with the team because it's a team sport. Um, and I think that might be a little bit different to the men. They're always doing something very special, which I think is, is obviously entertaining to watch. And there's nothing wrong about it. But for me personally, I mean, I get really happy when I score a goal, but I also, I'm also very happy if I can contribute with an assist. And I think it's all about the team. So it's, it's fun to celebrate it with your team. Oh, so fun. Well, I'm hoping to see lots of celebrations at the Women's Cup. Um, and last thing I want to do with you, really fun. We're going to play a little game of this or that. So you quickly answer, you just pick one. There's just a few of them, but I just want to see how, how, what your, your preferences are. You ready? Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. PSG home kit or your away kit? Away kit. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Online shopping or shopping in a store? Online shopping. Would you rather attend a concert or attend a sporting event? Sporting event. Ooh, sporting event. Okay, okay. What what team, what event, what would you do? What would you go? I don't know. I, I really like all kinds of sports and I like watching it. So like in London, um, I could once, I could go watch Federer against Nadal. Uh, I mean, I would, I would just go watch all kinds of sports. I think it's really interesting to follow, to follow it. Yeah. I hear Louis. Does Louis ever come with you uh, to the sporting events? <laughs> <laughs> no, he has to stay home because he's really like now he can't really sit still. He always wants to play. And now he calls me to play with him. <laughs> well, he's just like you. He just wants to be out on the field playing and competing. <laughs> exactly. We just don't have the same rhythm because I'm playing, I'm training in the morning and then I come home. And then he wants to play and I want to rest, <laughs> but it's You'll, okay. That, I love that balance. You'll find it there. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Verona, thank you so much. Um, congratulations again on last season and best of luck to you ahead of this 2021, 2022 season and best of luck in the women's cup coming up and safe travels. Thank you very much. Thank you.